end. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 80 years ago, almost 80 years ago, the federal government ended prohibition. The states rushed in to enact laws dealing with, li with liquor within their borders. In the ensuing 79, 80 years, every other state is modernized except for two, Pennsylvania and Utah. All you need to do to know how bad our system is, is talk to someone that's visiting Pennsylvania for the first time and is trying to navigate our liquor laws. They'll say, I, I want to get a six pack, but I want to get a case of beer for tomorrow. I'd like to pick up a bottle of whiskey and maybe a bottle of wine for my wife. No problem. Easy to do. Go over there to the, to, go over there to the deli and get a six pack. Only two. Only two. Not more than one. Not more than two, I mean. Now you need your case. Go down a block or a couple blocks away, maybe a mile or so, and pick up your case. If you want to get some wine or a bottle of whiskey, then you got to go over, you have to go over, you have to go over to a state store. It's, cr it's crazy. Every other state's gotten out of that system. And what's it mean for our residents? I live six miles from the Delaware border, 11 miles from a very fine wine and spirit store and beer store. And I can tell you, I can tell you, my neighbors do not shop in our state stores. My neighbors get in their car and due to our laws and what we do here, risk themselves and break the law to travel to Delaware to get better sales, better service, better service, better quality, and better prices. I watch them do it. It happens every day. You just need to drive down there and look at the Pennsylvania license on the plates in the parking lot. Tons of them. We forced, it. we forced them to do that. It's time we bring those people back to Pennsylvania, back to our state, give them the service they want, the quality they want, and the prices they want. This is the amendment to do it. Vote yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.